Well, they said you yell what a plainclothes cop is. <laughs> I've never that, heard that's that term before. I mean, I figured that's what it was, but I've never heard that term before. How? What was your? What was the clue? What was the giveaway? She told me it's a it's a, it's a hut that has pizza inside it. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Wow, that's unbelievable. One guy's name was Baskin. The other guy's name was Robbins. They got together. Right. How many flavors? Thirty one of them? Unbelievable. I was going to ask about the, so New York got rid of basically 600 police officers. I mean, they're reassigning yeah. 600 police officers. I don't know what, uh, what was the term they used? Like plain clothes cops? I've never heard that before. You haven't? No. You've never heard of that? Really? No. Yeah. I didn't just, know what it was. Well, it's like detectives almost. It's like... Uh, they, well, that's what I thought, but then they said they're being reassigned to detectives and this and that. But it's also like under, you know, um, i trying to think of an example of where a plain clothes cop would, would, would At work. At any of these protests. Well, yeah, right. Sort of. Oh, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good to get oh, rid that's of them true now. too. Yeah. <laughs> we had we had uh, plain clothes cops in the studio sometimes. If we had a guest, so just on what it sounds was... like. Someone not in uniform. A cop yeah. not in uniform. Well, yeah, plain yeah. clothes. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Well, they got rid of them. It's not that interesting. <laughs> is that the interesting? Rest? They got rid of six hundred police officers. They said you know, plain clothes cop is. <laughs> I've never that, heard that term before. I mean, I figured that's what it was, but I've never heard that term before. How? What was your? What was the clue? What was the giveaway? Why I already it, said that's why is exactly, the phrase <laughs> I said it, so it's exactly what it sounds. Why is it called pepperoni pizza? <laughs> well, you can have your you can have your fun with this, but I don't think it's that ridiculous. <laughs> it's just, well, like plain I think plain clothes cops. Plain clothes cops. I've heard it all I, the time. A million all times the time. in my life. Never all heard the time. A million times in my life. No, you have to. all the time. <laughs> yes, I have. You're, I mean, full, you're well, full of beans. Why would I fight on this one? <laughs> I, I, don't think know. Of, when I think of plain clothes cop. I think of Andy Sipowitz putting his uh, jacket over his short sleeve shirt. That's what I think of when he goes to work. I mean, a detective would qualify, Steve. Yes, of course. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Any cop who's not wearing a uniform and a badge with so a gun. So wearing like, what do you mean? Like wearing cop. what kind of clothes? Just like plain. <laughs> <laughs> what are they as a job? Though? <laughs> well, they're a cop. I've never what heard are they wearing? that term before. Just like, well, they're all gone from just New like York. Just a pair of dungarees, maybe. And you a mean shirt. like maybe clothing? <laughs> they're wearing clothing? Yeah, you don't yeah. find oh. that unusual? <laughs> huh. No, I'd say that's not the part I find unusual. About. I'm trying to save America. You could tell me. You could tell me that. You could tell me. You could say to me. You know what? 800 plainclothes cops, These were, plain were, were, cops are gone. were vaporized Gonzo, to Jupiter. Were vaporized to Jupiter. But I, what's they a pla- are. They what's, have been. What's a plainclothes cop? I would say the most fascinating thing about that would you not knowing what that phrase is. Yes, I would find that more interesting. Again, what I said was, mm-hmm. is it exactly what it sounds like? I never heard the term, but I had a pretty good idea of what it was. Huh. Okay. You have, yeah. you, you, you have your fun. You make sport, <laughs> I'm just, man. I'm, I'm, <laughs> so I, I, haven't, I haven't put this together. Like... Originally, when James Naismith did it, oh, it was boy. a basket. Yes. There was actually, there wasn't like a net underneath. Right. So the ball makes sense. It would be a basketball. Sure, but the first person that ever said basketball to you, sure, you, about the you eight, would about, still ask, what is that? How about the eight millionth time I heard it? It's not the eight That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> Why I'm, are you telling me what I've heard I've never heard life? it in my life. <laughs> this goddamn phrase. It's very strange you haven't heard that in your life ever. Never, never once. Well, you don't read, really, so I guess that makes right. sense. I never, I, you, you, you underestimate that. What were you going to say, Steve? <laughs> oh, so we were, I just tweeted out a poll. We'll see how unusual the, fr- the phrase uh, plain clothes uh, cop is. How was how the did, frame? How did you phrase it? Uh, have you ever heard of a plain clothes cop? Hmm. Uh, it'll be interesting. You might, we might win that one, Mike. I mean, our, our listeners are stupid. Yeah, I'll vote yes. Early, 30 votes in. 86% yes, 14% no. All right. I'm in the minority, but we exist. Uh, that's, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that, that, that is true. <laughs> we're a strong, we're a small but ferocious bunch. That's true. No, you're right about that. Yes. <laughs> but I mean, it's just plain though, right? Yeah, just regular old clothes. <laughs> Again, but they're, 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 are they the wearing idea. their uniform or no? No, they're, you can't even tell they're a cop. Why? They could be wearing just like what you're right. wearing. Just like why would they do that? Clothes. Though? Oh, but they're cops, though. Oh, 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 it's so that they blend in. <laughs> but what is their job? I'm saying. Oh, they're cops. They enforce oh, okay. the law. But why do they have the uniform on? So that you so don't know they're me cops. Detectives are just gone from New York. That's <laughs> what I'm supposed to believe. <laughs> just tell me it's a, it's a it's a hut that has pizza inside it. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's unbelievable. I've never heard that before. It's outrageous. I've never heard that before. Trying to shed light on a serious issue. Here. One guy's name was Baskin. The other guy's name was Robbins. They got together. Right. <laughs> How many flavors? 31 of them? Unbelievable. Incredible. I would say you wouldn't know what Baskin Robbins was the first time you heard of it. Could be anything. Could be a law firm. I know, but I would say that at the age of, how old are you? 28. You would have heard it by now, though, correct? Never once. <laughs> You've heard Baskin Robbins? Oh, Baskin Robbins. I believe yeah, you no, me. I'm sure you have. <laughs> <laughs> as, uh, as Don Rickles says, already laying in uh, dirty work. <laughs> Baskin and Robbins they're call. They're down to four flavors. Or is it five? Four? Is it four flavors? I forget. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, Norm McDonald. Why don't you go? To, why don't you live in the mountains somewhere? And don't bother anybody. <laughs> the personality of a dead moth. 
It's such a ridiculous. We talked already about it. Yeah, it's such it a ridiculous no scene. Sense, but... The movie just opens with Don Rickles roasting like he's <laughs> he's a he's a he's like a a movie theater like general manager or something. He's going to give an inspirational speech to these guys and he roasts them. It makes no sense. It's like the most nonsense. But it's a theater where they show movies, Mike. Yes, right, right. I get it. You do. You understand and that? that one You've I've heard, heard that. Okay. That one I've okay. heard a few times. Okay. That's fine. Okay, that's good. That's good. What's that pull up to? I think you're going to win. I want serious numbers. I here. think you're going to come back here. I think uh, I will. 82 percent. Look at you've that. Heard See, of you're falling. Close cop. Number, your that. numbers are falling. It's great. You're in the lower 20th percentile. It's we're, we're working our way up. <laughs> is it? Is it just one word though, Steve? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Okay. I mean, you could. You, you didn't know that, you did could, you? It could probably be a compound word, but I looked up the AP style. Okay. Looked it up, did you? What? Didn't, didn't know offhand, huh? <laughs> Isn't that interesting? You're still a spist. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Do you ever think maybe, Mike, like an undercover operation, they wouldn't wear their uniform? <laughs> I get that. What I'm saying is, you know what? I got to strange... say, strange. Like I understand that you're. I understand, uh, man, telling me heroin that you've been on the streets for a while. Why are you wearing a police uniform? This isn't. My I'm, point I'm not of gonna, asking I'm not going to buy this from you. Was so it's that broad. It's it's that many cops no longer exist in the biggest city in the country. But that's not really what you said, though, because then you said, I then you said, what's a what is a plainclothes cop? I'm sa- yes, I'm saying is it more? It was it, did I have the definition wrong? I imagined it was any cop not in uniform. What's, but a, don- what's a donut? Perhaps I'm wrong. A donut. It's like a now, sweet bagel. You wouldn't is know it? what a donut oh. was based on here. They're, these are ridiculous examples. <laughs> like basketball is a decent example. Basketball is a good example. Thank you. That, that's a fine example. Isn't ice cream a good example? Sort of. Well, I mean, it's no. Sort of. What do you mean? What would be a better example? Uh, well, it's not literally frozen ice, so like chicken I mean, frozen shack, cream, rather. Chicken shack, I guess it would be fine. Who's in there? I'm imagining chickens, but you don't know that. I certainly don't. See, this is good. We're, there we're are. Here, we're well, here to brighten your horizons. Doing, what every you should day. be doing is bringing up phrases that don't necessarily mean. But that is exactly what it means, though. That's what I was asking. <laughs> yeah, but, but why would I bring those up, though? Because like, I'm, I'm, I'm proving the well, point. Well, hold on exactly. a second. On, just to be, take Mike's side for a second, an undercover cop isn't necessarily like under anything. Like cover. That's true. Right. That's a good point. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, I think of that. That's true. He's not wearing. Yes. Like, yes. Thanks for defending. Me. He's not wearing covers. <laughs> that's true. I never thought of it that you way. You know what? Nelly was right about you too. <laughs> She mentioned, I don't think she got a couple, she, of, a couple of big. Unless she changed you, unless she removed you from that conversation. <laughs> no, but no one ever really includes me. That's true. Also, I would say Ellie's probably uh, wondering what a plain close police officer is. That's probably true. Well, why, yeah. can't, they dr- why can't they dress snazzy? I get a lot more respect on Schnitt talk. You That's should go on there. Sure. Yeah. If I'm ever invited. Well, Ellie doesn't want the plain close cops, you know, uh, safe either, though. I mean, in Gina's world, they're all they're all evil. Plain clothes, fancy clothes, whatever. Just yeah. burn them. Yeah. That was weird. Mike, do you, did, was that the other day when Mike asked for the fancy clothes cop is? No, it wasn't. I've never asked. Oh, hello, good sir. What's What precinct are we going to today? Oh, it, well, it, does, this. it does appear there's some uh, there's some tomfoolery going on in the Bronx area. Let us go, boys. Let us put on our, our tuxedo and go to work. I'll say this. The fancy you saw clothes the fa- constabulary. <laughs> if you saw that fancy clothes cops were out of work now, you'd have some questions, wouldn't you? I, well, I would. Yes, I would. Yes. I, well, I've never heard the well, phrase so fancy clothes cop before. Well, so you're right about that. All right. <laughs> now, we're, now we're on the same street. because it doesn't exist, really. But we're yes. on the same street. <laughs> it's true. You spin this. I know my people are out there. People are going to make what? Me, you ask the question. People are going to make me seem foolish for this, but I know the the gearheads know the truth. Up to eighty six percent now who say yes. They big bounce is all over the place here, Mike. Wow. You got to make the case. I think at some point you get twenty four hours on those polls, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Unless he, uh, you know. Why don't you go in the minute. middle of a of a protest day and ask everybody individually if they're an undercover cop or a plain clothes cop? See how it goes. <laughs> who are you? Yeah. What's your deal here? Yeah. What's your role? Pat them down. See what they have to say. <laughs> 